Hi, everybody. I think I screwed up and there's no sound. Let's see. We'll, we'll troubleshoot this. Now, I had sound earlier. Now, we've got sound right now, but I don't know if it's the mic. It is. See, when I tap this mic very gently, this is a, an engineer's trick. I'm tapping this mic, stroking it. And I can see the view meter and the people's heads exploding at home as I do that. So I'm sorry about that. I, you know what? We're going to have to try to repeat everything we said. You know, nobody mi even missed How it. Are we ever gonna repeat? Nobody even said, oh, by the way, <laughs> there's no sound. It shows what, that, what they're busy doing. Who knows what? Well, we were gossiping about all you guys when you couldn't hear us. It's just as well when my phone's off. Okay, see, now the sound. Oops, I got sound coming out of all my devices. You guys at home aren't paying attention, which is fine. You've probably got better things to do. At least you're watching. Not one person said there's no sound. <laughs> Yeah, they're probably hoping we wouldn't notice. How are we going to repeat that material? It's lost in the ether now. Well, my name's Howard. I'll be your host and co-host along with Mary Clins Goldman. We were talking about the things that you could do now that it's this time of year. And, uh... Yeah, we were, that was one of the things we were talking about, discussing things you could do. This time of year, when the weather turns to crap. That's a song title, This Time of Year. And how much I kind of enjoyed that. Yeah. I was having a great time until I realized there was no what sound. A... One little thing like that could just change yeah. and my face clouds over. Yeah. That's a good expression. He said his face clouds. His face clouds. Or clouds over. No, either one. I was just remembering. You wrote that in a Jackie Jocko, Jackie right? Jackie Jocko, yeah. His face clouds. When he just was so talking about the little kid, the little boy who was um, wanted his autograph or something like oh, that. Oh, right. And Jocko. Right. He goes, what a nice little boy. Isn't he so sweet? Then his face clouds. But can you imagine having him with you all the time? <laughs> 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 oh, no, not me. I love my freedom. Karen Lizzie's watching. Where, where is she? Where in the world is she? She's here in Buffalo. Oh, she's she, back. She went with her family to Java today. So. To Java? Yeah. So Java? she might still be out. They say Java. They say I Java? They say Java, but they say people who know the town of Java, New York, say it's Java. Oh, it's like Tonawanda. Well, there's no, there's no alternate pronunciation. People that don't live, that aren't from the town of Tone Wanda, don't know that we pronounce it Tone Wanda. <laughs> no, we're, we're just polite to people when they get it wrong, say Tone yeah. Wanda. That's where the city and the city and north town of Wanda, and then there's the town of Tone Wanda. There are these other towns outside of Western New York, really, or outside of Buffalo that I'll never learn how to say it. Like that place near well, near Rochester Chicago. called Honeo Falls. Honeo, how do you spell it? It's spelled H O N E O Y E Falls. There's there's half Honeo? the towns Honeo? half the know. town names in Western New yeah, York. They're strange. If, and then you get Chai Lai. If you're not if you're not the Chile. third generation living there, you can't pronounce it or spell it. Yeah. It takes three generations. It's like adjusting to yeah, an altitude. It takes a long time. And some things never change with the, uh, that are supposed to change do not. Say when I did that 100 Things story on the Attica Arcade, and it's been Arcade Attica Railroad for something like 100 years. But before that, it was Attica Arcade, and it never changed in the public parlance. People who talk about it say, huh. you say the Attica Arcade Railroad, you don't say the Arcade Attica. They've never succeeded in changing that. And they must. <laughs> well, that's that's a. Also, that, another example: the Buffalo Evening News is still said by a lot of people. Oh, right. Who aren't old enough to remember when it was the Buffalo? I once saw a jazz singer in um, Martin Luther King Park, and she wasn't old. She was a young woman at the Pine Grove reunion. Say, aren't we all happy to be here in Humboldt Park? <laughs> Not been Humboldt Park since you know. I mean, in my lifetime. <laughs> oh yeah. 
thought I, st I still kind of think of it as that. So her parents probably called it Humboldt Park or something. I don't know. You know yeah, Maybe she was German. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to change something that's in there. That's how things go, you know. Like, through the history of man, <laughs> their areas are conquered. Yeah. You know, so the Germans lost it. The Romans rename it. Well, look at the Roman name stuck for for um, countries. Germany. That was a Roman name, Germania. Well, Roman stuff really had yeah, teeth. It they, really stuck around. Yes, and their the names of their cities are still there, even though they changed the names when they came in. Diane, you're the first one to open your mouth, and we're very happy about that. Diana Woodruff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what did Diana say? Okay, Diana. Diana's going to be here next week, I believe it is. She's going to be here next week? Well, I hope we're not so. letting the cat out of the bag. hope she knows that. Is that true, Diana? You're going to be here on, on set? It's great. It's Buffalo and what do people come to Buffalo on business about? I don't know. We have to ask Diana. Like to, to uh, like their uh, sponge candy suppliers. Distributors. <laughs> I distribute sponge candy. Caramel suppliers. <laughs> hot sauce purveyors. <laughs> hot sauce purveyors. <laughs> you know, those big... Uh, Chicken wing moguls. Those big Chicken silos on, on, on the river. I understand they're full of Frank's hot sauce. Oh. <laughs> I bet they are. Some of them are full of Labatt's glue, which is obvious. We're the banking center, but that's nice. I heard something that, uh, now I only heard the headline, and maybe you dug deeper into this because you're a newspaper person, but um, Shark Girl is, something's going on with Shark Girl. Oh, wow. They're either going to uh, gonna brush her teeth and take her out of service for a while, or, or she's going to be gone. I mean, why does she need service in so quickly oh, anyway. Yeah, she's only a few I mean, years old. I mean, how many times have they had the service? The Statue of Mozart is sat in Delaware Park for 150 years. Well, I was going to, I was thinking about the Statue of Mayor Griffin. That's right, by... I bet um, you that hasn't needed any servicing. That's quality. Somebody wave her about a front. This could be our first surprise guest. Part of the show where we're always wondering who the hell is going to be on it. I'm going to put the split cam on so you watch the glamour of, of a star entering the room. Well, this is a wonderful surprise. And it's not a surprise. It's I didn't know you were going to be here. It's not like surprising that you're here, but it's but it's certainly uh, a tremendous revelation. It's wonderful. Yes. It's wonderful. It's marvelous that Mike Miller is here with us. Did he go out from Melinda? He did. Melinda's involved in show business. As is everybody. So is Mike. It's a camera operator, as well as an artist. And Melinda is a theater critic. Controversial theater critic. Yeah, that's the best kind. They're not real if they're not controversial, right? Exactly. Otherwise, you're just a shill. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that because I married into the newspaper business. Yes. It is. Well, it, it's a good business to marry into. Yeah. You get the health insurance, and you get to meet all those cool people, yeah. and, and they have to like you no matter what, because they're, you know what I mean? It's like an in-law yeah, yeah. with no responsibility, really. Yeah. No, we're just, we're home free. Yeah, we're home yeah, free. yeah. 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 Miller and Mike Miller, ladies and gentlemen, have entered the room. 
there in the lounge. Two glamorous people involved in theater. All kinds of things behind the camera to make these things happen. It's the show business. That's Mike Miller. He's also an expert on meat. For all you carnivores out there, he's a, he's a licensed or whatever they are. He's a, he's a butcher, a real deal butcher. Remember because they took the guy off the roof? The chimney? They did. Yeah, I was very relieved because I didn't want to. I was hoping I wasn't posting something that was tragic. But they didn't shoot him down. No, the guys on the man, the man lift, um, oh, or the the ladder, I guess it was, the fire department ladder. It looked like they they managed. It looked like they talked their way close to him to get their hands on him. He didn't have a lot which of. Which I'm sure they weren't I too mean, happy about. This way, he didn't have a lot of wiggle room there. No, the guy. I guess, you know, it looked from a distance like um, he was in good shape. Well, he didn't have a gut. See, if I, if I could do that, I'd climb up on the top of a building and start waving naked. Mm -hmm. If I was in shape like that. Really? You know? That wouldn't have been where You'd I have to. <laughs> What's that? I wouldn't, put my, I wouldn't put my money on that. That would be something you would do. So I wouldn't. Well, I'd be pretty happy if, if I got a free ride on that and I like, woke up and... There's that six pack. But I'm not really willing to put the work into it. Well, would well, that be the trade off? If you have a six pack, but you have to show it to the world from the top of a chimney. Well, actually, that would be tough for me because I hate, I don't, I, I, I really don't like climbing. I don't like climbing. I don't like, I, the, it isn't, yeah, I mean, it isn't the heights, it's, the manner in which I've attained the heights. Like if I'm in an airplane, mm -hmm. it's thrilling. I, I took, I used to fly a helicopter and go, kind of, you know, as long as I know I, I'm not, like I could pass out and I'm not gonna fall, mm -hmm. you know? So if it's up, if it's- So the unsecured heights. But, yeah, but then, you know, the helicopter soloing didn't bother me. I had confidence in the, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a phobia. So it really doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. So I'm, I was at the controls of the helicopter, and I was, was like, I loved it. I was fine. I had the door off. I'm pitching yeah. sideways, looking down. But if I have to climb a ladder or something, you know, I'm struggling. Just scaffolding so we can paint our house ourselves. No. You bought state scaffolding? Mm -hmm. Is it? I so did I. Did Mike go it's check it out? It's in the. <laughs> I love it. It's like I wipe it off when I'm done using it. Here comes uh, Paul Kokoda, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of critics, he's the Janice Oaken. Mary, do you want to let to? He's a, the Janice Oaken of Lounge. His opinion matters more than anybody else. Oh, I thought you were going to say that he likes to read. Nice to see you, GT, George Apple. Wish you were on a little earlier to tell me that I didn't have any audio. We, were, we went on for about 15 minutes with some great impromptu material. And everyone's watching. And nobody told us there was no sound. They were all enjoying that they couldn't hear us. Nice to see Paul Kokoda here in the room. Nice to see his pizza here, too. I even found our old notes board and I did it the hard to throw them out, so I stuck them into my old art file. And uh, the, the notes where we were sitting having a beer or whatever we were doing and writing down. <laughs> Ladies 
gentlemen, you can see Paul Kokoda setting up for his spot right next to me at the piano where he's going to feed me great songs. This man is a songsmith. He's an expert on big bands. He was Jocko's flight, flight engineer at the Hyatt. Sat right next, right, right where he's sitting for me. He sat for Jocko. And he'd make requests all night. Discuss musicology. Eat big slices of pizza and drink beer with ice cubes. Stick to that story. How'd you like that new scaffold I bought? I like it. It's awesome. I love it. Wait, it's so empowering because I have no yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's I have no secrets. No, yellow. It's, 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 oh, I thought he said new. Take a take a look at it. It's nice. beautiful. I waxed it. Howard, thanks to you, I'm an open book to these people. Yeah, I, that's true. Even though you don't have a Facebook account. Well, I, I should take my reindeer off, but it was raining awful yesterday. I do remember. I remember yesterday. I remember yesterday. Why get what's tomorrow? Great lyric. I remember. Like your next research project. Oh, what's that, Paul? My next research right. project. You're going you're gonna to thank me someday for it. I'm sure I will. Dig right, in, Alan Hastings? Dig into uh, Ray Conniff. Ray Conniff. She knows Ray Conniff. Oh, no. He, he, he did. Do you know, know Ray Conniff? Lots of stuff. Huge. Yeah. Why don't I? The Ray Conniff singers. Yeah, the Ray Conniff singers were the best. Okay, what? Last night... Uh, get my TV working. Kevin put me onto YouTube. You're better off on YouTube. Well, you know, you just, I never used it, but he said, give me a name. You're on it every week. So anyway, I put, uh, I put, I said, Glenn Miller. Bang. I looked up Glenn Miller, and there was a huge assortment. Of oh, the movies? Choices. The movies but, are up oh, there. Yeah, but Why the subtitle, right under, side. there was a great kind of tribute to Glenn Miller. For a little variety, since I didn't have a TV, I checked on it, and he played a couple of Glenn Miller songs, but he went into a, it was a two-hour special, he had done, with it, he had like about an 18-piece big band, and uh, the singers were comprised of four male, four female, right in front of the band. They're incredible. I'll have to but check that out. Um, I thought I was listening to the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Really? Uh, check that out. But I found it through Glenn Miller. And then when you get to the Harry Connick tribute, here's a Glenn Miller. Here's a Glenn Miller going out to Melissa Grace and Cindy Chan. This is for you. Why? Why? Robin Singh in, in December. Long before the springtime was due. And even though it's snowing, while it's our growing, I know why. And so does Cindy Chan. Why, why do breezes sigh every evening? Whispering your name, Cindy Chan, as they do. And why have I the feeling stars are on my side? When you smile at me, 
And until his uh, untimely demise flying over the English Channel during World War II, I think they say it was friendly fire. They never knew. They never knew. They were a few things, but I will, the, most, the most accurate description I heard is, you know how, uh, you don't know, but you know how there were raids going over to Europe every night of the week. Every night. The Blitz? You know, and this he went, and he, it was real bad. It wasn't really good flying weather. He went out, and they, they went out. And the speculation is the raids were coming back. And what a lot of them would do is, when they were coming back, they had to jettison their bombs. You know, you can't land with them. Well, they bombs. might have dropped a bomb on them. So, so anyway, that's what they think is. Uh, they were dumping their their excess loads at the same time. Von Miller's plate was coming in a lot lower, and they think the turbulence might have done it. Wow! Well, so just split second timing just changed history. Oh, how about huge change in musical history? Yeah. You might not know. You might not have learned rock and roll. I was thinking Von Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody would be like Paul, living in the 1940s. I'm going to give you guys the finger there. There's the thumb. There's a heart. It's like kicking the side of the submarine to let let me know you're out there. Save for one of the VIPs that's gonna check in. Put the hand up. Here's another you know, one. The, the singer in you know, Sun Valley Serenade was named the uh, Marion Hawkins. Yeah. You know who she was? Yeah, actually, she was lip syncing. She was, but that wasn't her singing. Really? Yeah, it, it was a, it was a, it was a secret. Well, she could, she was a good singer, but that wasn't her. It was, it was a Fair Fair Friday. Actually, her first, her real name was Faraday. In fact, Jack Webb took the name Joe Friday. It was inspired by, by her name, Patricia, Patricia Friday which started out as Faraday. And she was, she was, she had to sign a contract that she would never tell, and eventually she did. And 
what a voice. You know, but they combined it with the actress, and it was just a great. Do you know who her sister was? I don't know her sister. I didn't know she had one. Oh, Betty Hawk. Betty Hawk was another. Yeah. She did. She was a lead in Manny Get Your Gun in the movie. Here's the way Patricia Faraday sang this Barbara Fisher. I was never spellbound. Starry sky, what is there to moon glow when love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight. Spellbound, darling, not by stars, but just by you. At last, she didn't do it that way. My love has come along. And life is it's like a song. But last, the skies above their blue. My heart was wrapped in clover. The night. I looked at you. I found a dream, a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to. Beato and Gaia and Rory. Some big show business names right there. They conceived the idea of Von Miller doing those movies. I think he used to been engaged very more to write the music. I mean, but look at the treasure trove of writers who were available to him. Yeah. Go to guy. He never did uh, Broadway. Broadway. Harry Warren, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Beato.
the good turtle soup or merely the muck? Is it the cocktail, this feeling of joy? simply a lark. Is it the crowd I see only as Barry Park? Is it the fancy not worth thinking of? Or is it the long last, one last love? from You'll Never Know. I knew with Cole Porter. What is You'll Never Know? I'm not familiar with that show. There, this is such a vast expanse of information that even the experts don't know like every show. Not even close. You know, they say, gee, people don't write this stuff anymore and what are we going to do? It's like, you'll never in a lifetime find everything that was done. How come I can't see guy what, what guy wrote? This technology is always baffling. Well, thank you, Mike Beato. Appreciate that very much. It's wonderful having you lounging with us. Oh, Vicki, you're, 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 you're so nice to show for me. Thank you so much. Can't go wrong with Cole Porter. Mike Beato knows that. He's, he's in show business up to his gills. You know what he does? He calls up stars and marries them. That's what Mike Beato does. He phones him up and he marries him. That's how to do it. You grab life and you don't let go. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago. This this is the end of a beautiful friendship. I know, for your eyes told me so. We, we were always like sister and brother. Till tonight, when we looked. We looked at each other. That was the end of a beautiful friendship. And just, just the beginning of love. Friendship by a couple extra drinks, and there it goes. <laughs> 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 Two 
more drinks will remove the thin veneer of civilization, right, Mike? And it has many times as to all of us. I know. For her eyes told me so. Pretended we were like sister and brother. Who were we fooling? And, and, and I didn't know. But then I saw you were fine on paper. So Still I tonight when we walked. We looked at each other. Yeah. Yeah. Stanley Stein, is that the Stein, the big Stein man? That's a different Stein. Julie Stein. Julie Stein. Julie Stein is one of the giants. Yeah. People don't realize. Julie Stein. Wasn't he in the credits for uh, the, the Three Stooges, too? I think he was. I never really made that association before. I would say this. He wrote Peter. People. That really? I thought that song was a lot newer than that. Early '60s. People who eat people. But that was. Uh, Bar he, you know, he made Barbra Streisand with that song, and I never heard your credit. Him. Not a lot of people could say they made Barbra Streisand either. Oh, I see. Manya Metzler, I'm biding my time. On account of that's the kind of guy I'm. Why other folks grow dizzy? I'm keeping busy. I'm by. Something's bound to happen this year, this year. I'll just keep on napping. I'm biding my time. On account of that's the kind of guy I'm. There's no regretting when I'm setting. Bide my time. Okay, that's a Gershwin tune. Boy, they were versatile. We have a low latency signal. Your, your comments are coming up in a very timely fashion. You know, sometimes we wind up like 
five minutes delay for some reason. I think we must must not have a lot of drop frames tonight. That's good. See, I could talk nerd with Mike Beato. He understands really anything. You could talk. You could talk anything with Mike Beato. Here's a song that got me engaged. In what? In this. We'll have a blue room. We didn't even have a blue room that night. All I had was my bachelor room. Corvette. Hey, you can still have the Corvette. I still have it. We had a Volkswagen. I'm minding my own business playing this song. One night. Is this too personal to... It's kind of emotional when I think about it, though. Out of water under the bridge. I happen to be in her living room, and I hadn't left for like five years. Right? <laughs> and we're going a bunch of songs, and I, I sing this song to her. She, she really took this one personally, and she started getting all emotional, and she, she took it as a, maybe she conned me. Now he's Maybe married. she's a great actress. <laughs> and here we are. And then she brags to her friends that she she fell the great oak. <laughs> well, his parents were, not his parents, your, your friends from high school and stuff were calling in when you were getting, when they no were married. No one could believe it. No, I couldn't believe it. Because I, I was a, I was a confirmed married. bachelor. I mean, like, you know. And then you sang the song. And then we wound up with a, the blue place. <laughs> We'll have a blue room, new room, or two rooms. Every day is a holiday. Anna Kana, you're married to me. she wrote. It's nice to see my designated drinker out there, Brian. Sir? Explanations we've ever had for people getting up and leaving. Yeah. I mean, this, well, we thought we'd be dramatic. Well, nothing's more dramatic than the truth. Yeah. So I, I told Mike, I said, well, you know, What's going on I know we gotta get home. Is nobody coming here. Well, we oh, never I know, Paul. Well, I know. We just I never know. Thank you, Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher, your, your shilling for me last week really worked. We had 
the collection plate was like we had a lot of. I, I got to. I'll have to show you the number. You know what? You'll see it, Barbara Fisher, if you go to that URL. I don't want to mention the name of the URL. I'm too bashful to say it, but. If you go to it, I, I, I clicked it on where it shows the numbers. Of course, you're way at the top by like the mountain. But you'll see there's some bunch of new ones on there. That was from you. I appreciate that, too. Come fly with me. Let's fly away. You can use some exotic boots. There's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly away. This is a mellow flight. Come fly with me. Let's float down to Peru, New York. In Lama Land, there's that one man band. He'll be happy to tune his flute for you. Fly with me. Let's take off for the blue. Once you get up there, where the air is rarefied, we'll just glide, starry-eyed. Up there, I'll be holding you so near, you may hear. Such a lovely day. Say the word, we'll beat the bird to Acapulco Bay. Perfect for flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me to Lounge Academy with my designated drinker, Brian. Jimmy Van Heusen, of course. Sammy Kahn. Sammy, Sammy Kahn. See, Paul knows well, this stuff better than anybody. Have you ever heard somebody call you crazy? Okay. <laughs> Barbara Fisher. It's Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher. Ask a baby not to cry. It's Barbara Fisher. And I hold you closer to me and I feel you going through me. Count the seconds that I never think of Barbara Fisher. It's just impossible. They say I'll move the mountain and I'll move the mountain if she wants them out of the way crazy she calls me sure I'm crazy crazy in love I'd say
Sigmund and Bob Russell. I don't know them. Here's a, here, we'll get down to earth with a Dietz and Schwartz. Dietz and Schwartz, everybody. So for everybody, you know, it gets... It's, you know, it's what, it's, uh, in, in Buffalo, it's 8.14 in the p.m. on a Friday night here at Lounge Academy. What's the date today? I don't even know. 10-4? 10-4, good buddy. December 4th, 2019, and it's dark out at 8.14. And, you know, how did that happen? It was sun shining recently doing this at 8.14. Yeah. So what's everybody doing out there? You know what they're doing? They're dancing in the dark. That's called a lead-in, everybody. Lounge Academy, we explained some of these show business terms. Was it? Your biggest hit. Dancing in the dark. Everybody dance in the dark. Till you tune in. We're dancing in the dark And as soon as we're waltzing in wonder Of why we're here Time hurries by, we're here And gone Hurry's by. 
for crying out loud. Recurrent disc. Feel bad about that, Barry. I hope this one does the trick. What do they do I, with, with that? You're a surgeon yourself, um, so I guess I'm asking the right guy. Um, when, you have a, when you have a disc, they have slipped out of place, what you did. And then they go in there and remove a piece of bone, whatever. Is the disc still there? And they're just moving the bone so it's not pressing uh, into the nerve? Or do they like fuse the, fuse a couple of the links together there, the vertebrae, to um, immobilize them? Or is, it, or is it a more drastic step? It's great to see Kathy here tonight walking across. She doesn't just walk across the lounge. She makes her way across the lounge. There's a song she likes. So I like it too. It's been a pleasure, Mike, of ours too. He'll be back again. He'll be back again. As soon as we can. But they gotta go babysit for the daughter because the lady she works for, his sister in law, had a horrible accident and is in a coma. In a, oh, oh, that's a, Oh my gosh, that's horrible. What happened to her? Somebody my daughter works with, another they parent. They don't know why. She, she crashed her, her daughter car. Crashed she crashed her car. Oh, she was, it was a car wreck. Yeah, something that yeah. she's not at the moment. She's going to the last I heard she was on Well, gee, at 21, she sure has her strength and, yeah. and vitality working in her favor. Yeah. She's got to stand in tonight. I have a feeling it's going to work out. I just have that feeling. I don't always have that feeling. Sometimes I'll tell you I think they're screwed. I don't. I don't feel that. I just not that I have any kind of. I don't have any kind of sensitivity in any way, shape, or form with any with anything. I have no sensitivity in any field of endeavor. But but that's how I feel. It's gonna be all right. The Millers, ladies and gentlemen, Mike and Melinda, doing a walk-on appearance here, Nick. This is about Kathy, what she sings about Nick. Day in, day out, <laughs> same old hoodoo follows me about. The same old pounding in my heart whenever I think of Nick. And darling, I think of Nick day in and day out. Day out. Day in. I needn't tell you how my day begins. Possibility in view. That pa 
possibility maybe seeing you come rain come shine it's Dante ladies and gentlemen that's a Sierra sure but how are you actually asking him if Dante did that was nice this is Jeff Jenny versus Rick 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 By Johnny Mercer, music yeah, by Rube Rube Bloom. Rube Bloom. Yeah. Rube Bloom. Yeah, he brought the suits. He brought a few. Day in. Dante. It's a great night here at Lounge Academy. We're just, you know, we're sitting here running through the great American songbook till 11 o'clock, Buffalo Lounge Time, Maxine, in case you're flipping around. You stop back from time to time or stick with us. We could use you. And, um, Nice quiet evening and different show business personalities just walk through, coming to or going to their engagements like Dante, Kathy. We never know what's coming next. Jonah Bollander. Maybe you're next. side of the camera, we're surrounded by show business talent and greats, people that understand the artistic spirit, people that understand the pain of the creative process. Those are the people I perform for. Right, Jono? She knows the good songs. One of these days, man, you're going to hear a regular Lounge Academy, and you're going to be very happy. Here's one we've never done, and it's a great one. Paul? You gotta start way down here. You'll be so easy to love, easy to idolize all others above. So worth the yearning for. Yeah. <laughs> 
with the anaconda in the so so easy to love. Basically, you eat and go somewhere and then you eat again. Frank's a hell of a guy. You know, he's he's our official documentary and documentary maker. What do you call? What do you call that, Frank? Documentarian? Well, photojournalist. Well, he's that too. But a person that writes documentaries, because that's what he's going to do. He's going to do a documentary on Lounge Academy somewhere, somehow. In fact, I'm not going to let anybody else do it. It's just the way it is. Frank's the only guy for me to do that. It's his idea. I jumped at it. Because I know an opportunity. He's going to use uh, film. It's going to be the first 8mm documentary. Super 8. when Frank de Cesare is in the lounge and Daniel Scott Cole the owner of Cole's apartment store we all like while we're down in the lower reaches here of the octaves Embrace me, my sweet embraceable you. Embrace me, you irreplaceable you. Just one look at you, my heart grows tipsy. Out the chips in me. I, I love all the many charms about you. Above all, I want my arms about you. Don't be a naughty baby. Come to Papa, come to Papa, do my sweet embraceable. Girl crazy. Who isn't girl crazy? Oh, the wine about 
Goodman. Nick's not your old crazy. He's, he's just crazy. They have the Giants, yeah. and one of them is Benny Goodman. He doesn't need to be girl crazy. Admit it, when you were a kid, his elbows were collecting dust on your parents or grandparents' shelves, and you probably thought he was lame. But not he used to be a real crazy. <laughs> well, that's what happens till you find, you know, the love of your life. Till you find the person that all these songs were written about. That's the written about Kathy Moses, ladies and gentlemen. Here's one written about Kathy. Here's this one's written about Nick. Actually, it's not. He's, he's not foggy. He's, he's, he's too with it, unfortunately, for the rest of it. That's right. He's never foggy. He's sharp as a tack. A foggy day in London town had me low, had me down. British Museum, it lost its charm. How long I wondered could this thing last? The age of miracles had passed. Suddenly I saw you there, foggy London town, the sun was shining. It was shining everywhere. It was shining everywhere. In a London town. Thanks, Nick. Nixon. It's what we're paying for. We're doing kind of different songs tonight, you know, because the crowd's different. We have a very sophisticated crowd tonight. I mean, we always do, but this is the distillation of sophistication. <laughs> it's like Ralph's, Ralph's still. It's an inside joke that only Jeremy would get. Is Jeremy watching? He's not. He's lost. You're watching the Lounge Academy. Either live or in a rerun. We're going to be here until 11 o'clock, Buffalo time, Buffalo Lounge time, which is the same as New York City East Coast time, in case you're tuning in from places and you're not sure about Buffalo's time zone. We have the courtesy to tell you. We give you mnemonic devices so you can figure it out. So mine, and he's got a he's gonna, he's gonna do some dangerous magic tricks up there. From this moment on, you. Go. 
tonight. Thank you, Nick. Is there a uh, is there a football Bills game or something? Is there something going on tonight? Beer Blast. You think everybody's at the Beer Blast of the station? Is that where everybody is? There are a lot of people there. Yeah, that's where um, president of WBIG TV, Ryan Lysars, is even there. That must account for at least a good chunk of it. Think that attracts all all the show business people, or just Ryan? around with strife I never was cut out step out or strut out give me that simple life some find it pleasant dining on that pheasant that thing just rolls off my knife give me tomatoes with mashed potatoes give me that simple life a cottage small is all I'm after, one that's spacious and wide, a house that rings with joy and laughter, the ones you love inside. I'm like the high road, I like the low road, free from the care and strife. Sounds corny, seedy, and yes, indeedy. Give me that simple life. I like the simple life. Thanks, everybody. Rube Bloom and Harry Ruby. Rube Bloom is you're really giving us the business tonight. You know, I gotta try it. I'm going to take this time to talk a little bit about uh, one of my favorite pizza places. Hang on, I'm going to bring it over to show you. Ricotta's Pizza. I'd like to thank Ricotta's Pizza for making arrangements with Paul Kokoda to get one of these over here. Um, they watch every week and they send, send us a pizza and they send us Paul Kokoda along with it. We thank you. You know, if you own a restaurant, especially one with really great food, you don't have to send it over here to grease us up. But but it helps, right? Have you been over there? You, you know, I have not, Paul. What's it like over there? I can't wait to find out. Nice little family business. A guy's real entrepreneur. I love his pizza. I like the thickness of the crust. 
It's not overcooked. Sometimes they overcook a pizza. Not them. I don't like it where it, the cheese runs down your arm. You know, I like it when you yeah. pick it up and eat it. This has, um, they're generous with the cheese, yep. which keeps the pepperoni uh, firmly implanted. Pepperoni is very good, very fresh. Good high grade pepperoni. We're talking about ricotta's pizza, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure a lot of you out there are familiar with it. Well, thank you, Ron. Ron Hortman, everybody. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. That's nice of you, kind of you. Have you ever eaten at uh, Ricotta's Pizza? Look at this beautiful pizza they send over. Seven six eight eighty nine sixty six is the phone number for Ricotta's Pizza. You could order your own, or you could get one just like this. This is cheese and pepperoni. This was a, a square pizza. Well, I hadn't caught it. Party squares, you call it. They're called lounge squares. Yeah, lounge squares. That's right, Peter Grime? Here's what it looks like. And uh, Barbara Fisher, are you? do you happen to be out there at the moment? I got a little. I'm going to show you something. And this pizza goes the distance for Cotta's Pizza. Another good test of pizza is how is it the next day when you take it out of the refrigerator. And I, I could tell you that on Saturdays, when I've been lucky enough to have a couple of slices uh, left over at the end of the night to put away at the end of the lounge academy, Saturday morning, man, I think about that pizza. I drive down here. Just, just, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Because I, sometimes I don't get to eat when I'm here. You know, I'll, I'll save I'll save it. And then it's so late sometimes, even though I'm hungry, I don't want to eat too much because I'm going to go to bed, you know. So I'll have like a little bit of something. And I get up and I'm, all I'm thinking about is this pizza that's been ricotta's pizza. <laughs> well, that would be a solution, literally. Now, Ricotta's Pizza is not far from here. They're on um, Niagara Street, where a lot of real honest businesses, real businesses are on Niagara Street. It's not a, it's not like Elmwood Avenue, which, which I love. I mean, we all, we're all proud of Elmwood Avenue. But those are all like little gift shops and things. The real businesses are on Hurdle. Less and less now, though, because that's starting to get up, like Rodeo Drive. Elmwood North. Yeah. yeah. But um, you can buy there, go there to get the stuff you really want, you really need. I'm having this weird. Uh, all of a sudden, I can't see myself. We're, we're, uh, we're low latency tonight. Um, the delay is only about uh, half a minute. Barbara Fisher, um, give me a signal if you're out there. I want to I want to show you something I did just for fun. It's kind of like the bell. Something has to be used at just the right time. I certainly have not earned the right to use this button. But if I ever feel like I do, I'm going to use it. Well, I want to wait till Barbara Fisher's watching. Uh, 
That's a great request, Nadine. Thank you. Hi, Barbara. Barbara, this this is not everybody. Ignore this, everybody. This, I'm not doing this because I I don't deserve it right now. I mean, this is for if I'm really feeling like king of the world. Like I actually did something really good. Uh, I might use it at the right time, but. Wait, there's a lot of people watching right now. I don't want to do it. I'll do it later. Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher, you know Barbara Fisher. Yeah, you met her here. Beautiful blonde. She lives in North Carolina. She's here. She brought some of her family. Yeah, you remember. Why am I? My TV set stop keeps stopping. We're eating pizza here at Mom's Academy right now. This is great pizza. You know, I usually don't eat when I sing because Jackie Jocko correctly cautioned me against that. Cause, but what, the, what do we got to lose? This is getting to be um, pretty messy, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm like in a jello wrestling competition in public. Well, thank That's you. Getting out there, though. Yeah, one of the people I was talking about the people I know from church they live in the country. Thanks. Once more to Ricotta's Pizza for that. Uh, it's right on Niagara Street, ladies and gentlemen. Check so it out. Right out of the edge of some kind of woods They're very nice to us. And I'm trying to tune in so I can see your comments. It's usually often becomes problematic. 
the world of technology. Here we go. Hi, Barbara Fisher. Yeah, I'll show you that trick later. Yes. You'll see. You'll see why I'm being kind of cagey about it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to take a nap. No matter how much you clean your hands, you know, you just, it, the pizza's coming through the skin from the inside out. Hope everybody enjoyed. You're welcome, Maxine, my pleasure.
keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I. Thanks, Dante. I kind of like the atmosphere here tonight with a few of the high profile people here, the high power. And it's it's like a it's like a typical piano bar used to be on like any night of the week, you know? Where, where it's not a it's not a concert, it's not a packed house, it's just people with women, you know, with a drink in one hand and a cigarette in the other. We don't have the cigarettes, but Dante was talking about the beer blast too. It's not everybody that's in Pablo is talking about the beer blast that's <laughs> been too much. I know, we used to I don't get that beer blast though at the uh how can they hear the piano in that place? The, the Buffalo Terminal is probably big and echoing and loud, they're probably all yelling over each other. Screw that. They're probably standing. Look at this. If they knew about this, those 10,000 people would be here and we'd be screwed. Yeah, parking lot, they'd be standing in the parking lots. I think we've got the right idea tonight, everybody. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine as far as Nick could tell. <laughs> Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay Dawn, I woke up singing Sentimental overture You know what I'm doing? You know, they tell you in show business Imagine the audience is naked They tell people, I think it's like People that, you know, they're trying to overcome their fear of public speaking Or getting up in front of a group now, I'm not a man, believe me, I'm not, I'm not a uh, you know, I could be, but I'm not. I'm not imagining you guys are naked. But you know what I am imagining? Because we had that little discussion about how it's like, you know, it's like a little uh, little hotel lobby bar or something tonight, this nice atmosphere. I'm imagine I can't stop imagining everybody's got cigarettes. And there's smoke blowing all over the place. It's not vape, it's smoke. Smoke is getting to me. What are we going to do without our gummy bear vape? Did you know that gummy bears are bulletproof? You're going to think I'm making this up. For sure. If you don't think I'm making it up, there's something wrong with it, but I'm not making it up. Gummy bears, there's this physics principle and chemistry principle. I can't remember what it's called. There's a name for it. But certain substances, fluids, when you impact them, they become rigid. No jokes. And I dated a girl like that. You know, the, the name of it might. <laughs> the, 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 somebody out there. Some some science nerd. What, what's it called? The name of these like liquids that, if you impact them, like if you tried to jump in a pool of it, you'd wind up walking on it because for an instant it hardens. And that's what gummy bears are made out of. So I watched on YouTube one time a demonstration where they 
they took, they, they tried to shoot like rifles through big gummy bears. And it, very, it actually stops a bullet. So you could, you can use gummy bears like if someone's gonna shoot, you know, like you could, you could be that's like MacGyver guy that like grabs them out of a kid's hands while he's crying, you know, holds it in front of your heart and you stop the bullet. <laughs> Or you can make your own DIY bulletproof vest out of this stuff, you know? Probably save a lot of money. I mean, how much do gummy bears cost even today? Kids should pack gummy bears, you know, when they go to school and stuff. I know they're concerned with that kind of thing. That was not a lead into a song, anybody. I'm just talking that I'm picturing everybody. Smoking, the room's full of smoke. That's the only thing that's missing from the atmosphere tonight. And my, my imagination is filling it in. This is a song that Gary Marino turned me on to, to use the drug parlance of the 1960s. Now that's not the word, Bill. It's, it's, oh, what is it? Neutronic or something? It's somewhere, it's in the back, it's going to surface. I haven't thought about it since I learned the words. It's not, but, but it's, uh, it's not platonic. That's a different word. It sounds kind of like that, though. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Who was the guy that discovered the apple falling on your head? Gravity. Isaac Newton. Newtonian. A Newtonian substance. Somebody Google that. See if I'm see if I'm close. I think it's called Newtonian. A Newtonian solution, a Newtonian um, Was he the one about the object of rest or remains at rest or was that another story? Well, that's one of the. Oh, the law of gravity. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Did that make sense? It might have been. We're pretty bad for not knowing this stuff. This is why China is, you know, they're. Ask any like kid in China, they know that one. It's in the fortune cookies. You open it up. It says that what something in motion stays in motion. Yeah. An object at rest. Let it rest. Right? If it's at rest, let it rest. Why bother it? Hey there. Yeah, Barry, you should know this stuff. I think he's still, you're still in the hospital till tomorrow. I think that's what he wrote earlier. He's watching Lounge Kid on. Yeah, I, earlier I, I reminded him to tune in. I would feel bad if Barry wasn't laying in a hospital bed watching Lounge Academy. He They went back in. Luckily, he got the extended warranty. Who, who's saying hi? I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, David's saying hi. Well, hi, David. Hey there, David. You with the stars in your eyes. Bob never made a fool of you. You used to be so wise. Hey there, you with that high flying cloud. She won't throw a crumb to you. You think someday she'll come to you. You better forget her. Her with her nose in the air. She has you dancing on a string. Break it and she won't care. Won't you take this advice I hand you like a brother? too clear too much in love to hear all going in one ear and out the other
nose in the air. She has you dancing on a string. Break it and she won't care. Take this advice I hand you like a brother. Not seeing things too clear. Much too in love to hear. Is it all going in one ear and out the other? Plutonian. Plutonian? I Newt Newtonian. I think it's Newtonian. They show some YouTube videos. It's the only thing I could find. Yeah, well, where do you think I learned it? Well, that sounds exciting, Barry. Well, it sounds like you're in the right um, frame of mind for Lounge Academy, Barry. Like they're shooting them up with things to make them happy. How little we know. How much to discover. What chemical forces flow. From lover to lover, how little we understand what touches off that tingle. That sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle. Who cares to define what ignorant bliss is? Who cares with your lips on mine? What ignorant bliss is again? So long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters, how little it matters, how little we know. goes dead and we switch to this other device. I'm having trouble staying tuned into the uh, show tonight. It keeps stopping on, on my TV set. And then I can't see the... Okay, if it's working here, maybe it'll keep up. Wait, I'm watching like four hours ago now. I think it's picking up where I left off. Oops, I don't want that. Seems like any form of entertainment now, you got to watch the entertainer screwing around with unglamorous things, you know, like playing around with their devices. Maybe that is glamorous, I don't know. I don't think so. Or they're drinking water out of a plastic bottle. What's more, right? Why don't they use a glass? I never knew it. He passed away. It was, he had Parkinson's. And when we were growing up, he was in a wheelchair. And 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 he was in a w
Okay, I'm only I'm only about five minutes behind. We'll see if this keeps working. Cocktails for two in some enchanted rendezvous. Da 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 da. Cocktails for two. Somebody finds it for me. I don't know if it's in one of my books. That's a nice tune, though. I'll learn it for you next time if we don't find it. Cocktails for two. Well, that's the lyric book. It probably is, but then I don't have the music. So I guess what our musical co-pilots are going to do here, our navigators are going to flight engineers. Let's see if we can find that for Janice Shaw. Janice Shaw, she knows her music. She knows her food. Oh, speaking of Ryan, there he is. He's just tuned in. How are things over there at the uh, WBIG TV's roving reporter, Ryan Lysars? How are things over at the big beer bash over at the Buffalo Central Terminal? That's kind of kicking our butt tonight. Everybody's over there. Did you see any other lounge cadets over there? Your eyes. Well, I'll do it in a different key. Your eyes don't shine. Like they used to shine. 
Janice, some show business. The intros, you know what they are? It's so the guy can learn the song. Yeah, pretty song.
you, Janice. We're ready to go for it. In some enchanted rendezvous. Chocolate used to do. We'll see if Paul. We'll see if Paul perks up when I do this one. I've never tried it. Hear my voice. Where you are. Take a train. Steal a car. Hop a freight. Grab a star. Come back to me. Catch a plane. Catch a breeze on your hands, on your knees. Swim or fly, only please come back to me on a mule in a jet with your hair in a net in a tow. the shore, on the wind to my door, turn the highway to dust, break the law if you must, move the world, it's only just. register. <laughs> Who wrote this one, Paul? Hop a 
freight Grab a star Come back to me Catch a plane Catch a breeze On your hands On your knees Swim and fly Come back to me What's that? No On a mule In a jet With your hair in a net In a trunk, on a horse, on a drunk, in a rose. He's got a rose shirt on it. Or in a van, wrapped in mink or saran. See, I think of Jocko when, when I hear that song. Meatloaf, he played it. Yeah. He played every song. I thought you'd make that association. I know, but this one, and we've never done I never did it. What a great song. Got to remember that one. Thank you, Janice. I love the songs you pick out. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, Alan J. Lerner. Oh, Lerner and Lowe. And music by Burton Lane. Oh, all right. I'll be right over. Oh, yeah. Learner was just a little. I never, I never sit here and flip through this book. Goody, goody. Goody, goody. Here's one nobody's ever done. Build a home on the hill. 
Chat about the dress they wear tonight. They chew the fat about their dresses and their neighbors fight. I'm not gonna be able to read it that fast. It is. I love Bobby Troop. He was really the real deal, you know. He really loved to do what we're doing here. I think his favorite thing was just to be at the piano and play and sing. But he was known as a you know an actor. And, Bobby Troop married to Julie London. They they co-starred in Emergence. Was it Emergency? Oh, Bobby Troop was a, a, a he was the original uh, lounge pianist. That's where it started from. Tina's watching. Right? Even, uh, Tina's with us. Even Matt Dennis. Matt Dennis, I love Matt Dennis. Uh, but I put you on to Bobby Troop. You remember? Probably did. When you had well, a I, I learned a lot of stuff from you. You set me off in a lot of directions. Great comment. Power. That's the next one. That's your next one. 
Comics? Which one? Ray Comics. Oh, Ray Comics. How are things in Guacamora? How much do I love you? I'll tell you no why. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? How many times a day do I think of you?
clouds are far behind me. Happy little blue but troubles melt like lemon drops away upon the chimney tops. It's I wasn't, I never saw those two before. They're supposed to be 72 police cars, so you, you could let me know the answer to that. Let's get lost. Lost in each other's arms. Let's get lost. Let him send out a lance. Although they'll think it's rather rude. Let's tell the world we're in that crazy mood. Let's get Thank you. 
Let's get cross off everybody's list to celebrate this night and find each other. He had them all these years, Vince? I didn't know there was a guy that had them as long as me. I never heard of them. Did you know that? Were those in the uh, registry? I think they sold at a pretty reasonable price. I mean, if you wanted one, that would be a good price to pay. I would think. You know Joe? Since yeah. high school. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I got to know him a little bit. Nice guy. guy. Very yeah. nice guy. Yeah. So, Ty, tell me more about the Ty thing. Oh, Ty Night? Okay. Yeah, we're going to have Ty Night next week, and the idea is being whoever is of the mind to make a pie. Maybe there's a pie you're thinking of making, and in my case, that's why we, we did it a couple of years ago. We did a pie night. It was a big success, but we're doing it. It is a shrimp pie. I want to make something that's cooked with my bird cream. For sure. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make my shrimp pie. 
see it. Hopefully. With Yeah, you don't just sign it anyway. I may change it. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Zero out. Well, yeah. you can sweet disablers. It would be. I'll, I'll do sweet, but it's just. just pizzas Robert. or pies, too. They're allowed. Okay. It's interesting. Robert, Robert. Just be Robert, yeah. creative. Yeah, I might do a. Yeah. Feels good to kind of stretch for a couple of seconds, ladies well, and gentlemen. Well, I think you, you have no like. Uh, uh, I, want to try. I, I have a book with a lot here, of different one that fills in for you. Like no, Barry's. It's on I me. Barry's I lying mean, in bed. Like like Barry's in, and we're Bob tonight. We're going to Bob. I think everybody's at that beer bash. I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you. We've got our cartoonist. We got what we need. We've got Nick. We got Barry watching. We've got Barbara Fisher with us. Vince Kolb. We're a Kelly Andriach. And Tina. Tina is still out there. Is Janice still out there? Diana and Toronto. Frank's with, still with us. Frank pops in and out. He knows how the lounge works. Let's see what else we could do here. For all the nice people. Say hi to the nice people. Here's a couple. A couple songs. Here's one Matt Dennis did. He didn't write it. But he did it. He sang it. I love Matt Dennis. You know, Matt Dennis is known as a uh, great songwriter, but he was another one, like Bobby Troopworth. You know, I think he was most at home just doing this. Oh, yeah. Doing, singing the songs with a piano in front of him and a few people sitting around having drinks. Smoking cigarettes, shooting heroin. Ordering champagne. Angel Eyes was a good one. Yeah, he did a lot of stuff. Not as much as you think. Roses for your furs. Violets. Violets for your furs. I won't. He decided this one, but he didn't write I won't send roses. Or hold the door. I won't remember. Which clothes you wore, my heart is too much in control. The lack of romance in my soul will turn you gray, kid. So stay away. Forget my shoulder.
friendless highless they brought the candelabra
somebody loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who. Who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be worries me for every girl that passes me I shout out Yeah, but is it hooked up and you really use it? I do, it is hooked up. 
It is. It's wired in. Why? That's well, impressive. Uh, the volunteer firefighters You're a volunteer firefighter? No. <laughs> I think we're going to need some. Okay. The way these are looking. Sorry. All that sulfur is going to set off the sprinkler system. That's Jenny's number. How'd you get Jenny's number? <laughs> I still find these dial phones at garage sales because they usually have a fire department and stuff like that. How come we can't never remember anybody's phone number where we can remember that stupid number? That's why you don't Ryan know. Ryan is the two-time Black Rock pie champion, oh, so well, he's going to make something. So we got to steal his thunder. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I think so. It's good stuff, you know. Pizza pie. You like these old things. Hot pie. Hot pie would qualify too. Hot pie. That's Here's one from a movie. Hot pie is a good Yeah, a lot of things. This one's from 1971. <laughs> Summer smiles. Yeah, so the eating will be good next to whether or not you eat a pie, no you're going to make much more pie than you can possibly eat. Unashamed, <laughs> she sheds her clothes. The summer smooths. Restless skies. Lovingly, she warms. 
See if it works. This is the first time I'm testing it. <laughs> See that? I can press a button. I can make a, press a button and make that happen. <laughs> what power? There's a little joke between me and my audience shills. songs we haven't done. Up at dawn and sleepy and young, still the taste of wine. <laughs> Barbara, you <laughs> And I remember your mind and I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch the clock at eight. What a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bonds, Cape Canaveral, and fossil lines. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little to him until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind then, I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that sways. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that velvet ring. I've got a world that sways. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me of mine, and I've got a world that sways. Adam Bob, Cape Canaveral, and Fossil Line. If the universe is up and out, so I flip a little to you till I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that sways. We've got a world that sways. 
got a world that's sweet. Thank you, Jerry Lewis, for that song from the Nutty Professor. Thank you, Nick. When you heard the word nutty, we thought we were talking about it. What a great group we have, looking over the piano and seeing all these awake people. See Nick, that Nick? Actually, Nick's, Nick's very awake. Unfortunately, he's Mr. Energy. Oh, good, he's deaf. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. I've got some heaven. Even I can't explain. Could start for the corner. Turn up in space. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Leave the keys in the door. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. But that's not for me, because I can't see my kind of crazy world. change me Superstar. 
Sorry. Yeah, um, the star of Judas. <coughs> well, so there were all of these main stars, and so they had incorporated them into singing his songs oh. and then uh, doing a premiere work yeah. on stage. Yeah. So I was working with the script writers and people to actually stage the show. And Cy Coleman came in um, during that rehearsal period. <coughs> and so he and his, um, I think it was his wife, uh, were very demanding on oh. trying to get the singers to hit certain notes. Oh. And some of them delivered and others did not. <laughs> so oh. that is what I remember. Oh, man. <laughs> in my 20s. <laughs> I didn't know that much about him is, but I know him and Carol were kind of. I wonder if he was very, maybe he was demanding. Well, obviously, the whole world wants to see him. Exactly. And that's what we thought, too. They're not going to give him a pass. Yeah, it's ethical for you to demand that the star of the show is going to be singing your song. Yeah, that's what we thought, too. They're not going to give him a pass. Yeah, it's ethical for you to demand that the star of the show is going to be singing your song. Yeah, that's what we thought, too. They're not going to give him a pass. Yeah, it's ethical for you to demand that the star of the show is going to be singing what a life experience for you. You get to yeah. work a job like that well, to meet these people. Yeah, and very young, too. So. Yeah, as you said, yeah. yeah. I mean, that you get to see these people and yes. fly home. And yeah, and he was, um, I guess he recently passed away not too long ago. I, I don't know how so. long ago, oh, but he is passed uh, away. No, 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 I remember we, we were at E.D. Green, so I'm going to say five years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, when you heard that he had died? Well, you know, Jack oh. was playing all the tunes at oh, that time. Oh, I see. You know, yeah. yeah. Paul is just a real song writer. He, he knows so everything you know about lyricists well, and songwriters, and I knew that he'd want to hear your story. Yeah. Well, that's so great. Oh, he's one of the great Cycle Moments. Yeah, he's a Cycle Moment. He's been here for a long time. And that's how it was. When everybody walked into the room, it was this matter of like awe and genuflection. He wrote hundreds of lyrics. Yeah, I don't know. Probably about 20 musicals. Yeah. I mean, think so of you that. were aware of that Liz yeah. when you met him and everything. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. That was told to Was he nice to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think he really interacted with me that yeah. much. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was more of like, this no, is what we need yeah. to do. And then he directed the stars, and then um, it was me, the script writer, and the main stage manager that put the production together. So he queued up everything to create the show. Yeah, Paul is the song authority oh, here. Yeah, oh, that's he great. is the song. Yeah, yeah. Um, make friends with Matt Dennis, and we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 Good to see you guys. Nice to meet you, Paul. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Paul. Liz. See you guys. All right. Good night, Paul. Good night, Paul. See you again for the future. For 
thinking you love me too. You took my heart and played the part of little croquette in my dream. Like the smoke from a lit cigarette. Fool that I am for thinking you'd understand and thinking you. to the things we had planned, but we couldn't see eye to eye, so darling, <laughs> this is goodbye. <laughs> But I still care for that I am. That's a great song. Can you sing it, Trey? Where's the money? <laughs> yeah. One more? Okay. What's the other one? Write those two songs down. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's only thinking with uh, <laughs> we know. I don't know. Hey Nick, you know anything about KC and the Sunshine Band? <laughs> uh, just the band. Okay. KC just sure. down with it on that. Yeah. I can I can see that. Yeah. Friends. I guess we can sing that one. For two. When I'm close to you, dear, the stars fill the sky. So I'm love with you, my mind, in love with the night, mysterious. The night that you were there, in love with my joy, delirious, when I knew that you could care. So taught me and hurt me, deceived me. Desert me, I'm yours till I die. So in love. There's nothing like when Nick loses that when he's singing. I always just die. So in love. We're supposed to laugh. So to be in love oh. makes me laugh. <laughs> I love it all. That's it. Nice. Thank you, Nick. I don't Beautiful. Kathy, you want yeah. to be like. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got that resonance, that beautiful sound in his voice. How, how, how can you follow that? <laughs> 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 I could follow anything. It's a matter of humiliating yourselves enough times, and then you just, you know, you do it.
he's asking, how can I follow such a great talent, you know? It's like... There was Nick, as you all know, at home, or wherever you are. Where are we? Yeah, Barbara Fisher said pipes. Great, great Nick, Velvet Pipestone. That's his, that's his nickname, Velvet Pipestone. Oh, here's one for Christina and, and Terry. If you want to do one, find the music and bring it up anytime you want. And as long as I've ever heard it and I have the music. charts. <laughs> Stick around everybody, there's a lot of talent in the room. <laughs> Did you say, this is for Tina and Terry, who are, they, they might be in their schoolhouse right now. Knowing them though, they probably are. spot to learn. Teach me tonight. Starting with the ABCs of it. Right down to the XYZs of it. Help me solve the mysteries of it. Teach me Skies a blackboard high above you. If a shooting star goes by, I'll use that star to write I love you a thousand times across the sky. One thing's very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand so near, my love? Graduation's almost here, my love. Teach me, teach me tonight. Goes out to everybody that lives in a schoolhouse up the street in Delaware. Named Terry and Tina. What song are you guys looking for? Or just kind of browsing? Which book are you okay?
it's impossible. Tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. Can I hold you closer to me? And not feel you going through me. And I never think of you. How impossible. Dante leave. He did the Irish goodbye. Oh, he did? I saw it when he did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought he might be like in the bath or something. That confused the whole time. So I guess. Just like to keep track of the players on the field. Somebody could disappear in here and we wouldn't find him for a year. Oh, there's one we haven't done. Dave Corbett. First songs I ever wrote. I'll be tired of you. <laughs> I have, someday I'm going to write the rest of it. I haven't thought of the title yet. That is perfect. I got something going now. That is just a perfect song. Oh, there's some more.
Then I'll be Peter Allen. Oh, yeah, now we know all about him. <laughs> kind of puts it all in perspective. He was a nice writer. What an energy this guy had. Oh my gosh. Is that the one that went out with Lisa to buy some melody? He was married to it. Yes. yes. We learned it. Yeah. yeah. I had to that too. Yeah. You and me. We wanted to talk. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy day. We wanted it always. You and me, we reached for the sky. The limit was high, never giving in, knowing we could win the prize. I should have seen it in your eyes. Oh, 
Especially if they're like my favorites, you know, like Judy Garland or Elton John, Queen. Queen was fun. Yeah. I know, but I, but I, I, I like, I like them, you know. I, I mean, I, I, I listen to him so carefully because he's just got this voice that, you know, is, is, that you know to go to. I don't know. I mean, I probably like it. It's not like I got some attitude about it or something. It's just. I do like uh, Martel though. Mar Martel. He does. He does. Uh, he's the. He's the best queen. He does the the, the official queen road trip thing sponsored by the guys in the band. The actual queen tribute band. Yeah, he's, he's he's an amazing singer on his own. He's, he's arguably the best singer alive in pop. Mark Martel. Yeah, incredible. The things he could do with his voice are just. Yeah, well, it's not a household word. Is there anybody here that has not written a book? Yeah, is there anybody here that has not written a book? I don't think so. So this goes out to everybody. If they ask me, I could write a book. About the way you walk and whisper. I could write the preface on how we met so the world would never forget. And the 
Guy Bellary. Oh, Telltelly, yeah, he loves Telltelly. Yeah, that's the one that inspired him, really got him going. Telltelly. I've never seen that show. I know a lot of high school students do it, that musical, but I've never seen it. I didn't know what time it was then. I met you. Oh, what a lovely time it was, how sublime it was, too. I didn't know what day it was, you, you held my hand. Warm as the month of May it was, and I'll say it was grand. To be mad, to be yours alone. And to see your face, feel your touch, hear your voice, let them all your home. I didn't know what year it was. Life was no prize. I wanted love, and here it was, shining out of your eyes. I'm wise, and I know what time it is now. Now the Rogers and Hacker from Too Many Girls. Howard, due to the song, they're all unbelievable. They they wrote half this book. I know. Due to the song, just friends. Yeah. Just friends. Do that for that. Lovers no more. Yeah, we're a lot of fun. It's a good song. Oh really? Yeah. It's not in this book. It's not in this book, Mary. You're going to have to find it. Yeah. I thought it was in some, It's in one of them. Just friend. Da, 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 da. Yeah. 
She got her song. It's in the book. Pretty soon it's gonna be in our ears. So we can't look at the words while you're playing. Okay. Why not? I don't know, because you need to look Listen, at it. Oh, we both sing with us. You should sing with Howard. Well, no, well, Liz and I. No, 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 they got an act. <laughs> Sexy song. It's a sultry song. It's sultry. <laughs> Guys, really yeah. had that. You're like right on the the beat. Also, I was like, "Fever!" Yeah. <laughs> Nick woke up. Yeah. 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 That choke doesn't even work on you because he's got more energy than anybody. How much? Yeah, how much? How much sleep does he need? Thank you so much. Like oh, none. That was so cute. Really We're all singing. I'd love to be like that. Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> well, you guys are fun. <laughs> Here's one you're going to know. Watching Mom Academy here on my wall. Because we're going into overtime, which is great. I'm all for it. Because there's some songs. Here's one you can come. That's right. We don't, we don't have Richie to clean up tonight. Yeah, he's cleaning up. What's it all about? 
Now feel Is it just The moment We will What's all about When you started out show business here. Of course. Who's with us? Give me a thumbs up if you're out there. I'm going to give you guys a thumb. Give a finger. A heart. A whole, whole ball of wax. We're sticking with us in overtime here. Oh, my 
baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. We're short to find. Happiness, Kathy. Happiness, Nick. All those things okay, we've always. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks for bringing your nut. And the, I mean the nuts. <laughs>
It's not. Like, 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 it's time to <laughs> tell. <laughs> And my romance doesn't have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue moon standing by.
right here. Right, right here. So join me right on my wall. You can tune in. Summertime, if you recall, we stop beside a little flower stall, a bunch of bright forget me nots was on. You let me by you.
was sweeter than the blossoms on the tree. I was as proud as any man could be, as if the merit of the Michelle Legrand, David Sutter. Thank you. Lyrics by Johnny Mercer. I know that you hate to see me go. Always, Dave. But that comes time. It's sad. Also for you. It is. such a great audience. Here's something to play Dave out with, all the piano players play him out with. They asked me how I knew my true love was true. This is the one with the murder bridge. This is the one where the bridge sneaks up on you. When of course I find something deep inside cannot be is watching. The girls say hi, Dave. Mr. Excitement is going home to bed. Meanwhile, the party goes on. Jolson. The best restaurant is the 
skies. I don't mind the gray skies. Friends may forsake me. Al Jolson. This was actually was written by Al Jolson for crying out loud. Oh, great, Betty. I'm glad uh, you were around for the Michelle Legrand. Grant. I saw it. your name pop up. I thought the song was over. I figured, I figured you'd like that one, yeah. He was of our friend, parents' generation. I mean, he was... All right, well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to end the televised portion of the show while we have a party while I wash the dishes. Thanks for sticking with us for this overtime version. We went uh, four and a half hours. Plus, I did an hour over at the Staler before I came here, so I played for five and a half hours. And it's been great. We'll see you here again Friday next week. Until then, keep lounging. Good night, Barbara Fisher. If you're still, if you're still awake. Betty, David. It was a great night tonight. I really enjoyed tonight. It was a different kind of night. It was like, it was more like a, an old-fashioned, like hotel piano bar, you know, or restaurant lounge piano bar where there's you know, no one was in a hurry. Everybody's. Few people sitting around the piano all night. Just well, thank you, Barbara. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bill Jenkins.
look forward to doing it all again next week. Who knows what next week will bring? These shows are always a surprise. We wish Barry a happy recovery with his his latest back job. I got a feeling it's going to work out. He knows what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week. Thank you. We'll see you in the reruns.